obstacles that our good government, that is uh, by the people and for the people, used to be maybe years ago, but not anymore, uh, are putting on us. Satan is already here. I spent the whole day dealing with silly, foolish problems. You know, folks, we're here in this place for a reason, for a purpose, and that is to get away from the world, the things of the world, the ways of the world. Already, we have a thief or thieves in the camp and people who destroy other people's property. You young people, that's heathenistic. If you don't mind being a heathen, we'll go ahead and do those things. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You ought to be sorry that you, you did something stupid and foolish like that. You ought to confess and you ought to get it right. And you ought to return what you stole and apologize for what you did to someone else. Now, if you want to be a heathen, go ahead. Be a heathen. Keep doing those things. Your choice, your decision. But I'll guarantee you, the Bible's clear. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You keep your hands off of other people's property. Doesn't belong to you. How would you like it if somebody come and took your stuff and did that to you? Now we're here to get away from that kind of stuff. That's worldly stuff. We're here to dress right, we're here to act right, we're here to do right, we're here to work and try to get closer to the Lord, try to get lost people saved and God's people revived. That's why we're here and we need to do it. And you know what? We are, as 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 9 says, for we are laborers together with God. I know he's talking to a local church at Corinth here in that membership, and he's telling them that their labor's together with God. But you know what? As churches, we're here in camp laboring together with God that we might be able for our labors to have the fruit of lost souls and people revived and uplifted and the joy of their salvation restored. That's what we're here for. And we need to remember that we're labors together and working together. He said, you're God's husbandry. You're God's building. You remember the New Testament church? You're part of that. And we may not be laboring together as individuals in a local church, but as local churches, we're laboring together. And that's our purpose and our cause. And we're not up here to be more like the world. We're here to be different than the world. We're here to set this world aside. We're here to concentrate on spiritual things. We're here to concentrate on the Word of God that will increase our faith or will bring faith to those that are lost because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And we need to all work together for that. You young people need to work for that. That's what we're here for. And I'll tell you what. If you're here, I, and I, the last two or three years I've heard this constantly. Somebody get in their feelings hurt. If you're carrying your feelings on your sleeve, just go home. Just go home. Grow up. <laughs> I've had people say things to me that I ought to really, really be offended and mad at them for today. And you know what? I just don't let it bother me. I go on. Consider the source. I don't worry about what their opinion is. All what I'm worried about is what his opinion is. And that's what we all need to worry about. You know, and I've said things to people today that they ought to be mad and upset and irritated at me, and they don't. They just consider the source. <laughs> That's what we need to do. And I'll tell you what, folks, Satan doesn't want this camp to be spiritual. He wants us to be carnal and carnal-minded. He wants us to be uh, have our little pet peeves and have envy and strife and grief. And you know what that does? That hinders the working of the Holy Spirit. Consequently, lost souls are not convicted as they could be. But if we have unity and harmony in our midst and we've set aside these things in the flesh and we make a difference then for the Lord, uh, we're going to see a good spiritual camp 
and we're going to see souls saved, and we're going to see people revived. I came up here because I want to be revived. I told the church to pray for me, that I want to be revived. I, I want to be more spiritually minded. I want to be uh, more spiritually uplifted, and, and I want the thrust and drive in my life to be spiritual and not carnal. Because you know what? If I get that, you get that, and we go forth and present the word, there will be some precious souls that otherwise would have spent eternity in the fires and flames of hell that will have their hearts changed by the Lord and they'll have a home in heaven. So let's put these things aside beginning right now. You know what? As we've had camp for the last 30 odd years, some camps Monday night, the whole week we had really spiritually uplifting services because God's people were right and ready and willing to cooperate and labor together with one another. And if we will do that, and we're not against each other, we're for one another. We're together. It's like Abraham. Told, said about Lot. He said, we be brethren. That's what we are, and we're working and laboring together, and if we'll do that, the Lord will bless.